Good day, yogis, and welcome back onto the mat with me for today's yin yoga sequence, which we'll be focusing on stretching and lengthening out through the side body. So we really move through the body, and especially with the spine, in six degrees of flexion or movement. So keeping that mobility through your spine as you age and as you sort of mature in life is really one of the most vital things that I, as a yogi, can um, recommend to you. So if you think about the spine, it has the ability to move forward and back, to move from side to side laterally, and then also to twist from one side to the other. Keeping the mobility through each one of those ranges of motion is really important for spinal health and, of course, for your quality of life. So I invite you to join me for this practice. Grab hold of your yoga mat. We're going to need a yoga block or a thick book. So I'm sitting on mine. Um, and you're going to need a bolster for this or a couple of pillows. So whatever you have handy, Grab hold of that now and meet me on the mat. Bringing the palms together to touch in Anjali Mudra or the reverence seal. Allow yourself to connect inward. Taking a few deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Allowing yourself to press your sit bones down into the earth beneath you. And then beginning to rub your palms together, generating some warmth. And then resting that warmth into your heart center. So connecting inwards, allowing yourself a moment to get in touch with your true self. Taking a few deep breaths. Noticing the sounds outside of the room you're in. Not labeling any sound as good or bad, just noticing them moving from one to the other. Perhaps you hear the sound of a dog barking, or of a car, or of the birds. Just allow your awareness to move from one sound to the other. And then allowing yourself to draw your awareness into the room you're in. Noticing any sounds within the room where you are practicing. Noticing how you've arrived on your mat. Taking a last big inhale, breathing into the palms, into the heart center. And as you exhale, slowly lower your hands to your knees. Coming into Jnana Mudra, bringing the thumb and the forefinger to touch. Letting the hands settle onto the knees. As you once more, just check in, really allowing yourself to take moments of stillness, bringing your full awareness to the breath, deeply inhaling and exhaling, Noticing whether or not your shoulders have drifted away from your ears. As you lengthen up from the base of your spine, taking a few more deep breaths here. And once you've fully settled on your mat, once you've allowed yourself to become still, Bring the palms together to touch. Begin to rub your palms, generating some warmth between your hands. And then drawing that warmth, cupping it over the eye sockets, allowing the warmth from the palms to radiate in through the eye sockets. And then on your next exhale, you can slowly lower your hands, blinking your eyes open and coming back into the space. So... We're going to begin off our yin yoga practice with the first posture, which is a neck release. So if you were sitting on a block or bolster, you can remove that now. Coming into easy seat, let's give the legs a shake first, sending the feet forward, 
giving the legs a little shake, moving them from side to side, and then coming back into your easy seat. So knees, hands onto the knees. Let's take a couple of movements through the neck just to slightly warm up, dropping the chin to the chest. Inhale, sweep your head all the way up, chin to ceiling. Exhale, drop your chin back down to the chest. And inhale, sweep the chin up all the way to the ceiling. And again, dropping chin to chest. And let's take a last one, inhaling up. And exhale, drop the chin back down to the chest. Keep the chin pinned. Let's roll halfway through to one side. So inhale as you roll one way. And exhale as you roll the other. So just experiencing what that presents for you. Rolling one way and then the other. And then coming back into a neutral space, drawing the head up. We're going to take the right ear over to the right shoulder. So you're dropping the right ear onto the right shoulder. Your right hand stays resting on your knee. Left hand sweeps behind you to grab hold of your arm. So you're stretching that shoulder and that arm backwards by grabbing hold onto the arm, placing everything down and breathing here. So we're here for three minutes. Allow yourself to sink into the posture. Allow yourself to breathe deeply. You should be feeling a lovely stretch all the way alongside that left side of your neck, down through your shoulder, down through the arm, pressing both of your sit bones into the ground. Draw your awareness back to the breath. Allow yourself to settle and soften whatever you can soften. Specifically in this whole left side of the neck, moving into the shoulder, releasing any and all tension. All the while, focusing on your breath, deeply inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Yin yoga is a deeply meditative practice, so really allow yourself to tap into that energy of yin, which is a calm, slow energy. Moving into the last 30 seconds. Seeing if you've released any tension through the side of the neck. And then on your next exhale, you can slowly release. Bring your left hand back onto the knee. Just take a moment. You may be feeling a strong sense of sensation through the neck and through the arm. Just take a moment to feel into that sensation. And then on your next exhale, slowly drop the left ear over to the left shoulder. So we're moving into the other side now. Right hand is going to sweep behind the back to grab hold of the arm, 
and then the left hand is going to settle onto the knee or thigh. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, settle down. So once more, allowing yourself to melt into the posture, softening the body, feeling into whatever is presented for you here. Really bringing attention to that right side of the neck, to the sensations within the shoulders. Seeing if you're able to soften a little further. Keeping your awareness on your breath and working to the three principles of yin yoga, which are to hold the posture at an edge, which is appropriate for you. And then to really feel into whatever is presented for you. Yin yoga works on the connective tissues, the fascia, and the ligaments. So, working a little bit deeper into the body, and we achieve targeting these groups of um, connective tissues, ligaments, and fascia by the long hold of the posture. On your next exhale, you can slowly release out of the posture, placing the hand back on the knee, taking a moment in a neutral space, just feeling into the body, feeling the sensations you created down the shoulder, into the neck, just taking a couple more breaths. And then you can slowly Come back into the space. Draw your knees together. Press them together with your hands. Extend your legs, taking them wide open for a moment, just giving them a little shake. We're coming into half butterfly. So we're going to take the left foot into the right thigh. So, sorry, my right foot into the left. The left leg is extended. Your foot is in towards the thigh. And we're going to come into a lateral, the first of our big lateral stretches. So for this, you can bring your block into the equation. You can place the elbow onto the block and we're gonna sweep the arm up and over, coming into this lovely side stretch. So you may wanna take the block on the outside. Remember that the block has a few levels. You may be using a book. Whatever you're using, just allow yourself to come into this lovely deep, lateral stretch where you're keeping both of your sit bones on the floor and you're opening the heart up towards the ceiling. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale, sigh out the breath and allow yourself to sink down. Three minutes here, we've got about another two minutes to go. This is the first of the big lateral stretches, so really allow yourself to Take it easy, work into that edge. Don't overstretch. If the mind wanders, just draw your awareness back to the breath, deeply inhaling and exhaling.
arm may start to feel a little bit tired, just allow yourself to keep breathing through it. We have about 45 seconds to go. Soften into the shape. And on your next exhale, you can slowly begin to raise yourself up. So just take a moment, feeling into the body. You're going to feel a whole lot longer on this right side of your body. But we're going to fix that in a moment, moving your block aside. You can slowly bring your legs forward. We're going to take windshield wiper. As a counter pose for that stretch, so just drawing the knees over from one side to the other, counter posing that stretch, lateral stretch, which is half butterfly, and then slowly coming back up into a neutral space, taking the legs wide once more, giving them a little shake, and then drawing the left foot in towards the right thigh. So moving over into the other side now. So left side, um, sorry, stretching over towards the right side now. Right leg is extended. When you're ready, you can drop your arm onto even just your leg, wherever you feel is appropriate. Open up the chest towards the ceiling and slowly draw your arm up and over and allow yourself to settle once more. So three minutes here. Once more, working on opening the chest, the heart, and feeling this lovely stretch through the lateral side body. You can drop your elbow onto your block. Bring your hand behind your head. This is another variation for this stretch. So again, whatever works for you. Moving into the last minute here, so seeing if you are able to relax a little further into the pose. Once more, focusing on the breath. On your next exhale, you can slowly raise yourself up and out of the posture, moving your block aside, taking a moment, slowly bringing your feet back in front of you, feet are hip width distance apart, hands out behind you. Let's counter pose once more, moving the knees from side to side. Lovely. And then slowly coming back onto your mat. Let's get ready for the next posture, which is an IT band stretch. So you're going to come down on your mat for the sky. 
Lower your back, use your elbows here. So really take care of your body when you are doing any forms of yoga or sport. So really just allowing yourself to feel into um, the body. So dropping down, you're going to bring both of the feet up towards the knees up towards the ceiling, right foot over left ankle, and you're going to allow the legs to drop over now. So right foot over left ankle, we're dropping over to the left hand side. You drop down exactly keeping that left foot pinned into the ground. You're going to grab hold of that um, right ankle and then the left arm can be drawn up and away. So you're stretching into the heart and lung meridian here. So allow yourself a few more deep breaths and begin to settle. You should be feeling a lovely stretch through the IT band into the psoas muscle. So sink the hips down and completely relax the body. Allowing yourself a few more deep breaths. We've got about a minute to go here. Keeping both of the shoulders pinned. And then on your next exhale, you can slowly draw the feet back up towards the ceiling. Send the legs down and away. Draw the arms up overhead. Take a deep stretch. This is great. And then slowly step the heels of the feet back into the buttocks. And we're taking the left ankle over right knee. And then once more, you're keeping that right foot pinned and you're allowing yourself to drop all the way over to the right side. Right hand on left ankle and left arm up and away and out beside you. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, settle here. Settling into the pose and allowing the body to melt into the shape as you begin to do that work into the ligaments and fascia and the connective tissues. Soften into the pose, taking another deep inhale. Sigh out on your exhale. I love to say, don't be shy to sigh. Sighing is a beautiful way of shifting energy through the body. Allow yourself to quieten the mind throughout the practice of yin yoga, just allowing the mind to be in a space of stillness. So not only are you getting the benefits of doing this beautiful work into connective tissue, ligaments, and fascia, you're also allowing your mind the time to slow down, to quieten down. You're creating space to be able to experience your true self. 
And when you have those experiences of true self, those are the moments where you realize just exactly what you are capable of, what you have, and where you can feel most content. Moving into the last 30 seconds here. Soften on an exhale, and then taking a last deep breath, slowly begin to roll out of the posture. Once more, resetting the body, send the feet down to the bottom of the mat. That's such a beautiful lateral stretch into the IT band, into the psoas, draw the arms up overhead. You're going to feel so much more at ease in your body. On your exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Gently rock from side to side. Allow yourself to decompress through the lower back. You can draw some circles here. So drawing the knees round in a circle going in one direction. And then reverse and go around in the other direction. Slowly sending the feet to the bottom of the mat. Draw the arms up overhead. We're coming into Banana Asana, which is also a really good posture for working into the side body. So take your left foot off your mat. So you're stepping it out and aside. Then your right foot is going to step over. And you're slowly going to shift your body, the top half of your body, over to the left side as well. Grab hold of your right arm with the left hand. And then allow yourself to sink down here. And just breathe here. Deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Settle the body into the mat. Let go and allow the work to be done. <sighs> Take a sigh. Once more, allowing the mind to quieten, allowing yourself to be at ease. Last couple of big breaths. On your next exhale, slowly allow your body to come back onto the mat. Align yourself once more. Take a moment, just take a moment in. Shavasana, corpse pose. You're again going to feel that lovely length you've created in the right side of your body. Let's do the same now on the other side. So stepping the right foot out and the left foot over the right. And then once you're ready, you can slowly step the body over to the right side, upper body over. Grabbing hold of the left arm with the right hand. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, soften the body down into the ground.
Once more, making sure that both of your hips are pressed into the mat. And that you are softening into the posture. We have another minute here. And on your next exhale, slowly release out of the posture, moving yourself back onto the mat, aligning yourself once more, arms up overhead. Exhale to hug the knees into the chest, taking a gentle rock from side to side. Very gentle. Grabbing hold of the backs of the thighs, tuck your chin into your chest, as you gently allow yourself to rock up and come over into a wide-legged child's pose. So taking the knees to the edges of your mat, the toes to touch, drop the buttocks down towards the heels and allow your forehead to drop down towards the ground. I like to bring my hands into a little diamond shape here and allow my hands to just rest above my head so just decompressing one for last minute through the back body before we come into Shavasana. Sinking the body down into the mat. Just walk through the shape. See if you're holding on to any last tension. Letting go and relaxing. On your next exhale, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press the ground away from you. Allow yourself to rise up and come into final relaxation or Shavasana. So just taking a few moments in relaxation, allow the body to soak up the practice. So a beautiful practice today of opening up through the lateral side of the body. So just come down, relax, taking the arms away from the body, the feet to the edges of your mat. Take a deep inhale, sigh out on your exhale. Just give yourself a few minutes of relaxation. Beginning with the toes, the soles of your feet and your ankles. Let go and relax. Moving up through the shins, the calves, into the knees, into the thighs and hips, the buttocks. Letting go and relaxing. Softening through the chest. Allowing your whole body to sink down into the earth beneath you. And clench your jaw. Allow yourself to sink down. Let go of any last bits of tension.
And you can gently begin to wriggle your toes, bringing some movement back into the feet. Allowing your head to roll over from the one side to the other. Drawing your arms up overhead for a last deep stretch. And gently allowing yourself to roll up. Coming all the way back up into your seated position. And bringing yourself back into easy seat. Bringing your palms together to touch. Begin to rub your palms, generating some warmth between your hands. And then rest them into your heart center. Taking a deep inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, bow your nose down to the very tips of your fingers, taking a moment to acknowledge yourself for turning up to the practice. Namaste. Wishing you a truly beautiful day further and hoping that you feel some beautiful ease through your side body.